Now this is a boss bottle flanker that's actually created for the fragrance enthusiast, so stay tuned. Hey, what's going on? Hunter here and welcome back to my channel where I upload weekly fragrance content. So just go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any future videos. And also make sure to follow me over on my Instagram page. But today in my hands is the newest release from Hugo Boss. And this is of course Boss Bottled Elixir. This is Hugo Boss's take on that elixir style fragrance that is so hyped up now every single house is coming up with their elixir fragrance which is kind of strange because if you remember maybe a few years ago every house was coming out with an oud fragrance and now elixir which elixir isn't actually necessarily a note it's kind of interesting to see which house can come up with what when it comes to elixir which in my head elixir just means something strong and potent which this one definitely is and let's talk about boss bottle for a second because this lineup of fragrances has so many flankers I have not smelled every single one of them. And to be honest, this is the first one in my collection. And let me know down below your favorite Boss bottle because I'm kind of curious since I haven't smelled them all. So let's go over some information now. This was of course launched in 2023. It literally just came out maybe a month or so ago. As far as the retail price for two sizes, you can get the 50 mil for $110 or get the 100 mil like I have in hand for $140. So let's talk about that for a moment because when it comes to elixir fragrances, they are usually very, very pricey. For instance, like Dior Sauvage elixir for 100 mil goes for $250 and this one's only 140. So this might be one of the best bangs for your bucks when it comes to a designer release. For the concentration, this is obviously an extract de parfum or parfum, which means the highest of perfume oils in fragrances, which elixirs tend to be. Now there are two perfumers that went ahead and worked on Boss Bottle Elixir. The first one is Anique Monardo, who actually created some fragrances for MYs, which is gonna be important a little bit later. And also a fragrance from Mind Games, which I own, is Asuli's Diamonds. And we know Mwaj is known for mostly the resinous, incense fragrances, and Asuli's Diamond is another fantastic incense fragrance. So it makes sense why this one smells the way it does with her behind it. And Susie Lee Healy went behind this one as well, which I'm not really sure about her resume. I don't believe I've smelled any of her creations besides of this. So with all that information out of the way, let's look at the packaging and presentation you're gonna get with Boss Bottle Elixir. All right, take a look at the box, which I love the color scheme. They went with the black and gold. Of course, you have the outline of the bottle itself, Boss right there, bottled Elixir, 100 ml bottle. On the bottom of the box, you do have your batch code and barcode to authenticate a product to see when it was produced. On the back, you do have three notes listed. There is more going on as well as some ingredients. And then on top, you just have Boss. So let's look at the bottle now. All right, look at the bottle now. It does come in this very dark kind of gradient brown glass. You do have boss embossed into the bottle, which kind of is a tongue twister there. Bottled elixir in gold. On the bottom, you do have your batch code on that sticker, which is very small. You can barely even read that. On top, you have boss kind of uh, lettered out right there. Nothing in the cap and nothing on the atomizer. And this cap is very lightweight and cheap filling. I would prefer if they kind of upgraded the quality on that especially being an elixir flanker, but that is the bottle presentation. In the top, you have fragrance scents and cardamom. In the mid, you have patchouli and vetiver. In the base, you have ladanum and cedar wood, and this will be classified as a spicy woody. So let's spray this and test out the atomizer. Atomizer gets the job done. It's not necessarily pressurized. So let's go ahead and smell boss bottle elixir and remind myself of this opening. So I'm gonna tell you right now, upon initially smelling this fragrance, it does not come across smelling like a designer at all. It's actually a very bold, daring, when I say daring, it's very like a, a daring take on a designer to release something like this, and it's incredible. So right away, you're gonna get a burst, like a punch in the face of this very smoky incense note. Now, remember when I talked about Anique Monardo a little bit earlier on making those incense-based fragrances? She is obviously very good with dealing with this note because the incense in here is fantastic. If you love those smoky, resinous, sweet, incense-based fragrances that kind of smell churchy as well, I guess you could say, this is gonna be right up your alley. But alongside the incense, you are gonna get this very sweet cardamom 
which kind of balances each other out perfectly. And to be honest with you, when I first tried this, it did kind of remind me of another fragrance. Not exactly though, but just being a very smoky, incense -y, green style opening, it kind of reminded me of Elmwage's Interlude Man, which is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. It does wear very, very similar in the way it's done. And that's kind of why I said this is a very bold take from Hugo Boss because as we know, the Blue Beast is not for everybody. It's also very interesting to see incense listed as a top note because most of the time it's a bass note. In this one though, you basically get the incense from the top, mid, and base. You're, you're basically left with it the entire wearing experience, which is fantastic for me because Incense is absolutely in my top five favorite notes of all time, which makes sense of why I enjoy this fragrance so much. And to my nose, there is definitely a sweetness going on in the opening, which I know a lot of people said they don't really necessarily get any sweetness, but for me, the incense comes across sweet and that cardamom also comes across pretty sweet. So I'm not sure what's going on. That might just be my nose or what, but I definitely get a sweet punch. So it's not just like you're just being smoked out by incense itself. Now, as we start to kind of progress into the mid of Boss Bottle Elixir is where that earthy green patchouli starts to take center stage alongside with the incense and kind of works well with the other green nuances like i kind of resembled with interlude man being very green and smoky it's the same exact vibe going on in here with the patchouli the cardamom and that incense now the vetiver note just forget about the vetiver i'm not getting any vetiver at all so if you hate vetiver don't worry about it because you're not going to detect it in this this is so much going on from the other notes just overpowering it and then finally which does take a long time to get to in the base you are going to be left with this very leathery resinous labdanin note so you are going to get some leather nuances in there and obviously some more resinous qualities as well along with a very woody cedar wood which makes for a extremely rich foundation that you're going to be left with for a long time i just have to give props to hugo boss they were not messing around when they made boss bottle elixir probably one of the most bold style fragrances that you could find at like a macy's department store to be honest which is a good thing because i love seeing designers go into that more niche route being bold daring and just kind of thinking outside of the box and not pleasing the masses like a lot of designers do so if you are watching this and you are used to like your regular designers like blue de chanel sauvage y etc and you want something a little bit different and bold absolutely get your nose on this yeah when it comes to designer releases of 2023 this is definitely up there in either the top five or even the top three that i've got my nose on who knows maybe i'll have to make a video on my top like favorite releases of 2023 niche and designer so for the best seasons and occasions to wear boss bottle elixir for me i think it works the best in the spring fall and winter absolutely not in the summertime there's no citrus notes there's no aquatic notes, nothing that actually screams like wearing on a very sunny beachy day by any means. So I would say stick to the colder seasons and maybe even like spring evenings. Because if you do happen to wear this on a hot sunny day, it's going to become very cloying and probably make you like nauseous and give you a headache. That's how strong any powerhouse of this fragrance is that's going to work perfect and just push through the colder weather. For occasions, this is a little bit more tricky because this could be worn dressed down but it also absolutely could be worn dressed up. It does have that kind of formal nature about it that I can see working perfect in like a suit, a tux, or even maybe even a button up. I would say it's versatile, leaning slightly more formal, but if you purchase this, you can wear it all the time at any occasion. I just think this would be a perfect cherry on top if you're dressing up. So for gender and age groups, this is 1000% a masculine fragrance, like very, very masculine smelling. And to me, it smells very gentlemanly as well. And when it comes to age groups, I think this leans much more mature rather than youthful. And that seems kind of like a tradition with these elixir flankers is most of the time, they're way more mature leaning than their counterparts. So for me personally, obviously you can wear whatever you want, whenever you want at any age you are. But when I'm reviewing these, I had to paint you guys a picture. And for me, I think this is much more targeted for maybe somebody 25 and up that sort of got their life together, maybe working in a nice business or owns a business, a CEO, something like that is the vibe I get when I smell this fragrance. So yeah, much more mature leaning. 
even though if you are younger, you can definitely rock it as well if you like those very bold, confident, mature fragrances. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the most mature Boss bottle to date. Maybe you guys can leave a comment about that below since I'm not really versed in this lineup. So wrapping things off on the performance of the Elixir Boss Bottled. Of course, when it comes to the Elixir name, you're gonna expect Beast Mode performance. And for me, that's exactly what I get from this release, very, very strong. I mean, this certainly wears like an extract to parfum without a doubt. Obviously, when you think of elixirs, you think of Sauvage Elixir, which was the one that basically started this whole trend. That is also a beast mode fragrance. This one is on par with that when it comes to the performance. So for me, for my testing, I got over 12 hours of very good longevity from this one to the point where like at the end of the day, when you shower, you're gonna have to absolutely scrub your body hard on where you apply this stuff to try to get it off. And if you did happen to apply your clothes, which be careful on like lighter clothes because it might stain because of how concentrated this is, that's gonna last a few days on clothes and maybe even like twice in the washer to fully get it out. So when you spray this, you're gonna have to be committed to it because this sucker's not going anywhere anytime soon. And when it comes to the projection and seals, which projection means if you're just standing still, how far the fragrance throws off your skin, Sillage, to explain it to you, is when you're walking around in the scent trail that it leaves behind you. Both are very, very good. The projection, I got over an arm's length of very good projection, especially if your skin heats up, if you're sweating and stuff, forget about it. This stuff is gonna push maybe like two arms lengths away. So just know, when you're wearing this one and you can see somebody, just know they probably smell you with this one. And for the Sillage, if you're walking and you have like a group of people like walking in the line behind you, I would probably say the 10th person or even further will be able to smell Boss Bottle Elixir. So don't worry about the performance with this one. This is almost a room filler, which is kind of shocking because how performance and projection works is most of the time, not all the time, obviously in this case, is the lower the concentration of oils and the higher concentration of alcohol is the, the more it kind of pushes off the skin and projects because at the end of the day, alcohol is what makes a fragrance project. So like an eau de cologne, will sometimes project more than like an eau de parfum, but only project for maybe like 30 minutes, to like 20 minutes or something like that. But further, while the eau de parfum will project for maybe a few hours, but a little bit closer. This one though, just overrides all that beast mode fragrance. So that's gonna do it for my review of the newest release from Hugo Boss, Boss Bottle Elixir. Let me know down below if you had the chance to smell this one and what is your favorite from the Boss Bottle lineup? I'm actually very, very interested about that because this is a lineup that I haven't had that much experience with or spent that much time with. So I might dive into it a little bit further after trying this beauty. But besides that, leave a like, subscribe below if you haven't already. And of course, I'll see all of you back here in my next upload. Take care, everybody.